Southland Sharp Gym on the campus of Houston Baptist University in Houston, Texas. It's Southland Conference Basketball. Tonight, the HBU Huskies host the Sam Houston State Bearcats. And welcome in to another game of Southland Conference Basketball. I'm Gerald Sanchez, and tonight it promises to be a good one as both teams coming in have been playing extremely well. HBU winning four of their last five, and Sam Houston State, they've won nine of their last 11 ball games. And going back to December the 29th, HBU open conference play with a win 79 to 65 against these Bearcats and tonight they'll go for the series sweep for the gentlemen that'll be calling the action here's Tom Franklin and Neil Raphael. Gerald thanks very much good evening everybody and we welcome you into Sharp Gym for a key Southland Conference basketball game tonight Neil. Postseason positioning is the utmost for both of these teams right now. Sam Houston State at nine and four, game behind New Orleans for the lead. Want to keep one of those first two spots for a double buy in the tournament. Meanwhile, HBU at seven and six, one game behind Texas A&M Corpus Christi, looking for that four spot where they would get at least one buy in the tournament. Yeah, Sam Houston definitely looking for that conference title in the preseason. They were picked to win the conference and second now, breathing down the necks, trying to get to the first spot. As you said, the top four teams get the conference by, the top two teams get the double conference by. A couple of seniors will be focal points in tonight's ball game. First of all, for the visiting Sam Houston State Bearcats, they're going to rely on the outside shooting of guard Dakari Henderson. Yeah, Dakari Henderson, the 6'3 senior guard out of Pearland, Texas, is averaging 11 points on the season, leads the team with 45 three-pointers, and is also now the program leader with three-point makes. Meanwhile, for the HBU Huskies, they're going to rely on a four-year player for head coach Ron Cottrell, and that's going to be forward Coulter Lasher. Yeah, Coulter Lasher, the 6'7 senior from Anchorage, Alaska, is averaging 15 points on the season. He's now in the 1,000-point club for the program, and more importantly, last time they met on December 29th, he had 22 points in that contest trying to get it started tonight. Shapes up to be a good matchup tonight. Sam Houston State versus HBU. And we'll come back with the starting lineups and the opening tip-off for tonight's ball game right after this timeout. Yep. Yep. If you say so. And we get ready for the start of tonight's ball game, Sam Houston State versus HBU here at Sharp Gym. Let's take a look at the starting lineups for tonight's ball game. First of all, for the Sam Houston State Bearcats. Man, we talked about Zakari Henderson, senior guard at 6'3. Paul Baxter, the rock solid leader of that team in the backcourt, another senior. John Dewey the third. In for the Bronx, New York. Christopher Galbraith in the starting lineup today because of an injury to Aramis Myauskas. And Tony Butler will round out the starting five for head coach Jason Hooten in his seventh year. Now for HBU. Asa Cantwell, 6'3 guard out of San Antonio. Reveal Chukujeku out of Houston. Colton Lasher, the 6'7", out of Anchorage, Alaska, who we told you to watch out for in tonight's ballgame, one of our key players. Josh Ibarra, the biggest man on the floor at 6'11", from Angleton. And Braxton Bonds would round out their starting five. Our officials for tonight's ballgame, Rod Dixon is our lead official. Chance Moores and Kyle Regans are our assisting officials. Should be a dandy here tonight, Neil, because 
First of all, a little revenge factor for the Sam Houston State Bearcats losing at home in the season opener, or the conference season opener, back right around the holidays. And they want to make amends for that, plus they want to keep the pressure on New Orleans and get that league championship that they were predicted by everybody to get this year. Yeah, they do. Uh, the revenge factor, I think, is huge. But, you know, they're, they're trying just to get ready for the conference tournament. Yeah, they want to be top one, top two, but, you know, priming themselves to get to the conference tournament and play very well and hopefully advance from that point. HBU plays very well at home, 9-1. and one. Well, Let's see what happens. You see Barra towering over Galbraith in the center circle as Rod Dixon steps in. Ball is up and goes to the Sam Houston State Bearcats. They're in the traveling blue uniforms trimmed in orange and white. HBU, the home team, in the white trimmed in blue and orange. John Dewey gets in the lane, tipped it out. Floater by Henderson is no good. The rebound cleared by Coulter last year. One thing that HBU can do is rebound the basketball, Neil. No question. Best in the conference at that. So here's Lasher off the right elbow. Blocked by Butler. Butler takes it away. Two on two. Tried to dish. He did. And a little bit too late. Yeah. Player was still a little bit behind him when he tried to pass. It would have been nice to have a jump stop there or pull up for the short jumper. Missed opportunity on the turnover, on the block shot. A minute gone by, and we look for our first points tonight. Wide open is Ibarra underneath. Nice angle pass to Ibarra all by himself and lays that one in with ease. They had five guys on one half of the floor. He was the only guy on the other side. Butler can't get it, but the tip is good by Galbraith. Great anticipation by Galbraith. Galbraith really getting up there and finding the lane for that tip in. This is Braxton Bonds, and yes, he traveled with the ball, and yes, he is from that famous baseball family. <laughs> Braxton, the nephew of Mary Bonds. Well, we'll see the trap that comes for Sam Houston right there, the double team to force the turnover. Talking with Ron Cottrell about his team, he said, if you sit down and talk to Braxton Bonds, you would never know he is from the Bonds family. He is the most unassuming guy you'll ever run into but a floor general for them. Ten to shoot for Sam Houston. And stepping on the end line was Chris Galbraith. Another turnover by Sam Houston State. Yeah, tried to use his quickness against the 6'11 bar there. Great job by the big man of keeping his arms extended and forcing the turnover. Underneath, no good by Asa Cadwell. Almost like he hit the side of the backboard with that. Here's the drive and the finger roll by John Dewey, the third. Guy that Jason Hootenson has been a real difference maker for his team to have a true floor general out there to run his offense. Yeah, he... Ibarra again got loose on the backside. The early basket for the big man, Ibarra. And as you mentioned, Dewey. Dewey has some offensive prowess, but Better at dropping dimes and setting teams up, but has the ability to do both. Tough man-to-man -man defense for HBU. They circulate inside, and Galbraith is free for the lefty. A too early basket for Galbraith, a late starter here because of the injury to Mikowskis. Myauskas. Myauskas. Aramis Myauskas. 6-8 from Lithuania. I've pronounced that many times before. <laughs> Three ball for the wing is good by Coulter Lasher. A great spacing for HBU offensively. Good ball movement and nails it from the right corner. Does Lasher. Down the lane, the lefty lay-in is good from Paul Baxter. Baxter missing all of last year with a foot injury. Coming back as a fifth-year senior. 
And a steadying influence on the floor for the Bearcats. Here's Cantwell down for Ibarra. They cover him up this time. The jump hook won't go. Rebound was tipped out and corralled yeah, he by Galbraith. Double that time, and 6'11 still found a way to get a quality look, but didn't go down. He's got four inches on anybody that Sam Houston puts out there. There's a strip by Ibarra. The outlet pass to Bonds. Bonds will wait for help. Lasher on the cut and the drive to the basket. Blocked, but a foul. Yeah, Lasher with the slasher to the basket that time. Good look. Brings us to an official's timeout. 15.44 to go here in the opening half. Southland Conference action from Sharp Gym in Houston, Texas. HBU down by one to Sam Houston State. Tonight's game is being sponsored in part by Abraham, Watkins, Nichols, Sorrells, Augusto, and friends. Since 1951, tens of thousands of people have trusted Abraham Watkins to handle their cases. Call them today for a free consultation. And by Wells Fargo. Together, we'll go far. 15.44 left here in the opening half at Sharp Gym. 8-7, Sam Houston on top at the first break. A couple of free throws coming up for Coulter Lasher. He's hit a three ball so far in the ball game. Lasher on the season. 74% for the free throw line. Makes the first to tie of the game. And now can put the Huskies on top. Off the back iron, no good. The rebound is corralled by Paul Baxter. Baxter trying to go coast to coast. It's good, but they're going to say the foul's on the floor before the shot. Well, that Baxter is just so quick. Has that first step and gets him in the lane and wrecks havoc with defenses. Kentwell guilty of the foul. Jamal Williams, number 20, now on the floor. 2-3 zone for Sam Houston. Don't play a whole lot of zone, but had to need to make some adjustments tonight. From the elbow, leaving it short was Galbraith. Had a good look, but didn't put enough oomph on it. The Mayowskis out changes what you do sometimes, Tom. Here's Lasher out 25 feet from the hoop. Finds Ibarra going to the basket. No good. It looked like. Ibarra was coming to set the high pick and roll and then at the last second kind of faded back to the basket. Good defense that time by Sam Houston. Call him for the offensive foul. Ibarra will have a seat. Checking in will be Cody Stetler. Stetler 6'9 out of Hoisington, Kansas. Defense. 
Now man-to-man -man defense for Sam Houston. Drive of the basket comes up short for Galbraith. Galbraith has really been trying to take over the offensive load here. He's had a bunch of shots in the early going. Here's Bonds out high against Dewey. Catwell against Henderson. Stetler against Galbraith. Here's Cantwell tried to slip the screen. We get foul reach in on Cantwell on the outside. So a new 30 for HBU. Quick inbounds pass and the shot comes up shy for Stetler. For Lasher, rather. Drive to the basket by Dewey, and he got fouled underneath. Let's take a look here. The outlet pass by Baxter. Great job in transition by Sam Houston, Tom. Great spacing. Do a nice job of attacking the rim. They're just so quick off that defensive board into transition. Dewey with the miss from the strike. He is a 73% free throw shooter. And checking in is Jesse Lopez, guy who doesn't see a whole lot of action, only averaging less than two points per ball game. They're looking to get some size with Mayowskis out, Lopez in the ball game. Dewey goes one for two for the stripe to give the Bearcats that one point lead again. Good defense on Chuku Jeku, and he's tied up. Now the alternating possession, it's going to stay with Houston Baptist. A great job of trapping the basketball. We'll see right here. He turns right into the defense and forced the jump ball. They do a nice job of turning them, getting in the double team. Chuku Jeku missed everything. He was looking for glass, but missed it and just went right over everything from underneath. He uh, didn't quite square up, and then once he turned, he didn't know where he was. Baxter out high, gets the ball up, and gets in the corner to Dewey. Dewey, open in the corner, Baxter for three, yes. Paul Baxter with his second hoop, five points in the ball game, and a four point lead for Sam Houston State, their largest. Nice ball movement by the Bearcats. Stetler comes back outside. Long range shot by Cantwell, no good. Rebound fought for, battled. Bonds has got it, tried to get it up, lost it. Picked up by Dewey. Got it away from Stetler. Bounce pass underneath for Baxter. Couldn't get the and one. Not quite enough spin for Baxter to get the hoop and one. And we'll see the three on two break here in transition. And we'll see the wraparound on the other side, trying to avoid the defender. Foul is on Alex Fountain, 23. And Baxter with a miss from the foul line. Baxter at 66% uh, from the line. Comes from a long basketball family. His dad, Ron, played at the University of Texas. His sister, Angela, plays at Sam Houston State with the Bearcats. And he goes 0 for 2 from the line. Can't stretch the lead. So it stays at four as we approach seven minutes gone here in the first half. Reach in foul by Baxter. Got a little too aggressive on that pass on the wing to reveal Chuku Jeku. Talked to Ron Catro about uh, reveal. He said, I promised him that by the time he got to be a senior, I would be able to pronounce his name correctly. He said, I think I got it done sometime last year in his junior year, so I'm ahead of the curve. <laughs> now in the ball game is Jalen Weber, number two. Fountain for Stetler. Now Weber. Weber will launch the three. It's off the mark, no good, but Stetler's got the long rebound. And a new 30 for the Huskies. We get an offensive foul away from the ball. It's going to be on Weber.
Five team fouls now on HPU. Three against Sam Houston. We got a substitution up off the bench. And this will be Atif Russell. And you've seen almost 10 players for both teams already in the ballgame, but that is not uncommon. You see a lot of teams work with seven, eight, maybe nine man rotations, but these two teams, Neil, they go 10 deep all the time. They do. They're high energy, both these teams on both ends of the floor. They get up and down. What a luxury to be able to go 9, 10 deep. Absolutely. Especially with the tournament right around the corner starting March 8th in Katy, Texas. Josh Delaney had to fight off a hard hedge on the upper ball screen. Feed down low for Lopez. He couldn't control it. Goes out of bounds. Turnover in Sam Houston State. Now a little full court pressure, a little 1-2-2. Now they'll drop back into man-to-man. -man. Weber trying to work it up the floor against Javante Spivey. Weber got loose, dished it back outside. Russell will pull it back and reset with 10 to shoot. Here's Stetler in the lane for Weber, left it way short. Rebound taken down by Williams. Ahead for Delaney. And a travel on Javante Spivey. One of those points of emphasis all year long for officials. The shuffle of the feet before the ball hits the floor. And Spivey guilty that time. 11.42 to go. Both teams have gone a little stale from the floor. It's the Bearcats with a four point lead over the Huskies in Houston on a Thursday night. Pointers. Ten years of drives. Ten years of teamwork. Ten years of leadership. Ten years of hustle. Ten years of champions. A decade in Katy. The 2017 Southland Basketball Tournament, March 8th through the 12th at the Merrill Center. Go to Ticketmaster.com or Southland School Ticket Offices. you about the Katie Kids Dribble presented by Dick Sporting Goods. Fun-filled morning of hoops, excitement, entertainment with bounce houses, cheerleaders, and mascots. Free basketballs and t-shirts for the first 300 participants. It takes place on Saturday, March 11th at the Merrill Center in Katie, site of the Southland Conference Basketball Tournament. You can sign up by going to southland.org slash kids dribble. Be a great morning out there for the family. Full court pressure doesn't bother HBU on the inbounds. It's been five minutes since the Huskies have had a field goal. Two and a half since Sam Houston is hit from the field. So both teams cooled off a little bit. Huskies just three at 12 in the ball game. Fountain with a turnaround from 17 won't go and clearing the rebound was Cameron Delaney. HBU really struggling from the field, but only down four points here in the early going. Shooting around 25%. Go inside and Butler, or Galbraith rather, was clobbered and blocked and stuffed from behind by Stetler. My goodness. Three from the wing, finally breaking the ice. Jalen Gates with a big 
three for the Huskies makes it a one point game. And they haven't been off by much, but nailed it from the right corner that time. Went nearly six minutes without a basket. Broken with a big way there. Inside is Galbraith, the turnaround over Stetler won't go. Rebound, Galbraith's got it back and will put the rebound in with the left hand. Boy, does he work hard on the yes, offensive he does. glass. Having a good first half with six points. Had 13 and 10 rebounds against UIW in their last outing on Saturday. Well, right through the hands and out of bounds. Jalen Gates took a peek to see where somebody was coming defensively and forgot to take the basketball with him. Tori Butler will check back in for Sam Houston State. Now both these teams create a lot of turnovers, but they turn the ball over themselves, so it, it kind of balances itself out. Just, just the, the breakneck pace that they play at top. Josh Ibarra back in the ball game now. See the big man underneath. Three ball out top is good by Cameron Delaney. Came off the screen that time to the top and nails that one. 42% three-point shooter shows you why right there. And the lead is now six for the Bearcats, their biggest of the game. And we get a foul right out near the ball. And it's going to be uh, Jante Spivey, who took a stray elbow for his trouble. Let's see if we can watch it here. Here's the feed to Weber, trying to get out, trying to set the screen was Fountain. Fighting through it, getting the foul for his trouble with Spivey. Bonds almost had the ball stolen by Dewey. Here's a team for Russell to the basket for an and one. Great flashing move by a team for Russell. He can go through two defenders there, part the seas, and lays that one up. Cameron Delaney with a foul and an and one opportunity for Russell. Russell only shoots 56% from the line. Flying that one off the back iron. So it's a four point lead for Sam Houston State with the ball. 9.20 to play here in the opening half at Sharp Gym. Delaney pulls up in the floater. Cameron Delaney shows he can hit the three and hit it inside. On the run, three is no good by Gates, but he got fouled 26 feet from the hoop. Yeah, that's, that's not a foul, Coach. Putin's gonna be real excited about. Three shots. Take a look again here. Quick break. And there's the closeout by Spivey, who picks up his second foul. Six team fouls now on the Bearcats. The missed by Gates. It was five to three in fouls just a minute ago, yep. Tom. Three straight fouls by the Bearcats. Ron Cottrell says that they need the spark that Gates gives them off the bench, especially offensively. This 85% free throw shooter that first miss was a rarity. See if he can go two for three for the stripe here. And he does. Gates with five off the bench to lead the Huskies in scoring. Yeah, both teams shoot around 69% from the stripe. In trouble on the double team, taken away. Bonds to the basket, too strong. And cleared by Dewey, he lost it. And Russell will lay it in. But look at the effort by Bond. Lost the ball, hustled back, stole it, created something, scored for HBU. Now 2-2-1 two, two, zone trap. He goes to the basket, can't get it to go. And Dewey with a foul. Hopefully we'll get a chance to see what Bonds did. He had a great sequence there. Really did. You see the first miss. There he goes there out. Is. Steals from that. Dewey. My goodness. Knows exactly where his teammates were. Outstanding play by Bonds. And then another steal as they try to come back the other way. 
Bonds, who couldn't get the uh, two pointer, misses the first of two free throws. He's a 70% free throw shooter. And goes 0 for 2, but Russell's there for the rebound. And wild three thrown up by Gates. Oh my goodness. Almost a double team steal on Dewey. Three for the corner. It's no good. That from Henderson. But a steal by the Bearcats, and Henderson will finish with a lay in this time. 21 17, approaching eight minutes to play here in the first half. Nabara spins with the right hand, no good. Rebound taken down by Galbraith. That's a solid post move, but just off the mark. Here's Dewey back outside. It'll be Delaney for three, in and out, no good. Lasher will take the rebound. Backdoor pass, Russell, left hander, no. May have been partially blocked underneath. And that backdoor has been available tonight because of the overplay, the overaggressiveness of Sam Houston. HBU's had those backdoor looks. Here's Galbraith from 18. Too strong. Rebound. Butler had it, lost it. Russell's got it. Russell for the Huskies through the lane. No basket traveling on the crossover step. Bring us to an official's timeout. We'll take a look at that on the other side. Sam Houston State losing on their home floor, 79-65 to start the season, trying to get the revenge tonight, up by four with 7.17 left in the opening half. Moment ago, the traveling violation against Atif Russell. One, two, three. One extra step, Neil. He went across the front of the basket. Turnover number six for HBU. San yeah. Houston State's turned it over eight times. Good defensive stance that time by John Dewey. Have continued to backtrack on that, not make the contact, force the offensive player to make the mistake. Don points in the paint, Sam Houston. Winning the battle thus far, 14-8. I was just going to mention that. And it's funny, they're playing without their best big man in Aramis Myauskas. And the biggest guys on the floor belong to HBU. Yet it is Sam Houston State who's been able to penetrate and get inside points. Deflection by Bonds, but picked up on the wing by Henderson. Here's Dewey with five to shoot. Travel. Turnover number nine for Sam Houston State. Solid defensive stance that time by HPU. They turned it over a little more than 14 times a game, which is two more than Jason Hooten wants. And they've already turned it over nine times here in the first half. So he's really not pleased with the way that team is going. They look for Ibarra inside, and going to be a foul from behind. And free throws coming up. Yeah, 
they had pressure on top and pressure behind Fountain as well as Block. What a great name, Kyron Block, the <laughs> six-seven defender, right? Why not? <laughs> so Ibarra to shoot one and one. First one is good, and the shooter out of Angleton will get the bonus. 60% from the stripe. As you can tell, an imposing presence in the paint on both ends of the floor. Nice soft touch from the free throw line. Dewey from the top of the arc, no good. Rebound, however, tipped out by Williams. And Henderson will reset it for the Bearcats. Yeah, both teams shoot around 69%, but struggling thus far from the free throw line. Henderson got loose, got his own rebound. Do we have a tie-up or a foul? Uh, I think it's going to be a foul. And it is going to be on Ibarra. Yes. Let's take a look here. Yeah, Ibarra, Ibarra's got him wrapped, got his head wrapped up. It'd be a great move for WWE. <laughs> and for Ibarra, that'll be his second foul. 16 foul against the Huskies. Underneath and muscling it up away from Lasher for the basket was Paul Baxter. Boy, did he have to go strong to get that away from Lasher. Yes, he did. Baxter at only 6-2. What a presence down low. Under six to go. Nice pump fake from the wing, and the shot will not go. Rebound. Tipped away. And here come the Cats. Henderson for three on the wing. He knew it was off immediately. He was following his shot. Ibarra with a quick outlet. Bonds to attack the basket. And one! What a drive by Braxton Bonds. Very aggressive. One on two that time for Bonds. He had some help on the back side. What makes him so good is he established that contact with the defender. So Ibarra has a seat with his two fouls. Stetler comes back in for the Huskies. Now we're going to get Cameron Delaney in, and Paul Baxter will sit down as he just picked up his second foul. We'll see if Bonds can knock this down. 0 of 2 thus far in the first half. 19 fouls and now against Sam Houston. Bonds gets the three-point play that time around. One-point game here with five and a half to go in the first half. Ball Williams will leave it out for Henderson. Henderson tries to feed in the post. Butler with a soft runner, and it goes. Tough shot for Torrey Butler. Five minutes left now here in the first half. Double team on high against Stetler gets away, finds Cantwell for three, nothing but net for Asa Cantwell. Nice spacing, great ball move at that time for HBU. Good example of what Ron Cottrell says about Cantwell. He plays off of other guys to get his shot. And a travel by Cameron Delaney. will turn it over for the Bearcats. And he can go deep, Kent Cantwell will have it. Timeout on the court. It'll be Sam Houston State using a 30-second timeout here with 4.37 left in the opening half. Well, Southland Conference, like many conferences around the country, very bunched up this year. You see New Orleans on top, the surprise leader, and they've been out front almost all year at 10 and 3. Sam Houston predicted to be the number one team right behind at 9 and 4. Stephen F. Austin, the four-time defending champs, are at 8 and 4. And AM Corpus Christi, you need to change that as uh, AM Corpus Christi winning last night against UIW. So they're now 8 and 5 on the season. So they're the top four right now. Lamar close by, HPU close by, looking for the being the top four to get at least one buy around in the tournament. Interesting that there's only going to be two games each day. You have five versus eight, six versus seven on the first day. Those two winners go against three and four in the quarterfinals. Then you have the semifinals where one and two enter the picture. Steal down low as they got the ball away from 
Chuku Jaku. Well, that's why you want to be in those top two. Get that double bye. What, a, what an advantage, Tom. Huh? Yeah, one team could have to play four games to get the automatic right. berth. Another team only has to play two. They'll get a why. foul by Cantwell away from the ball. And that's why that conference season is so, so important. Well, I like the teams will adjust like that to put the emphasis on the regular season. You know, and make that regular season worth something. So Jamal Williams, the line to shoot one and one. He'll get the bonus. Williams had six points in the first matchup back in December. Off the bench. He's become a good six men for them, but been running hot and cold lately with his offense. Goes two for two from the stripe here. Breaks a deadlock, and it's a two-point lead for the Bearcats once again. Russell feeds Lasher down low. Bonds had it blocked, gets it back, put it in. Boy, does he have a nose for the basketball, Neil. He is just relentless. He will not give up on a play. Tied again at 27 as we're under four to go at 345 and counting left here in the first half. Henderson, pull back, 18-footer, too strong, missed everything. That was a tough shot, a little off balance that time. And a little rushed. Three for the wing, yes! Atif Russell gives the Huskies the lead back at 30 to 27. Russell from three-point land, only 13% coming in before that. Dewey had it slapped away by Bonds. The feed on the wing, Russell for the finish. Russell with five quick points, and that's the Husky lead here as we hit the three-minute mark in the first half. Anderson stripped on the way up, and a reach-in foul against Russell by Dewey. And John Dewey, the third, picks up his second foul, 10th team foul. That wasn't a bad foul, Tom. They had numbers going the other yes, way. Yes, they did. We'll talk more about that play on the way back. Two minutes, 54 seconds to play, first half. And HBU with a little run here has burst out to their biggest lead of the, after of the evening at five points. I want to remind you about the Southland Conference Basketball Tournament coming up March the 8th through the 12th at the Merrill Center in Katy, Texas. You can get tickets right now by going to Ticketmaster.com or visiting your area Southland Conference school ticket offices. Always a great event, great location for it in the greater Houston area. And always excellent basketball. Right now, HBU leading with bench points, Tom, 14 to 7. And Atif Russell, who's accounted for 
a bunch of that. That's 10 points for him off the bench. So he's got 10 of their 15 now bench points. He did not play in their win over Lamar on Saturday and only played seven minutes the first time in the first game these two clubs met back in December. And already he's come off the bench for 11 points to lead all scores. A steal. Here's Russell to the basket. Yes. And right now, Sam Houston's getting sloppy with a basketball, and HBU is making him pay. Yes, Sam Houston not coming back to meet the passes with the pressure. And that's 13 now for Russell. Here's almost another steal as Bond's got his hands on the ball from Josh Delaney to launch a deep three. No good. Tried to be saved in the corner by Williams, but it goes right to HBU. In the lane, the runner is too strong by Chukujeku, but the putback by Stettler is good. And right now, everything is going the Huskies' way. Offensively and defensively. And suddenly, this is an 11-point lead, and what a big three-point basket right there by Albert Almanza for the Bearcats. They needed that to stop the bleeding. But the answer, no. Lasher couldn't get it, going to be over the back on Chuku Jeku. Yeah, just trying to keep it alive and jump the back. You see this long, easy on those three-pointers that are missed, long rebounds, and just a little push it on. See the climb of the back. Cameron Delaney will go to the line. Delaney off the bench with five points for the Bearcats. Sophomore from Harker Heights. Like you said, Tom, that three-pointer from the right corner for Sam Houston was huge. Trying to put together five straight points now for the Bearcats here. The Delaney brothers are twins, Cameron and Josh. Cameron goes two for two from the stripe. He has seven now off the bench. Lead is down to six points. Was as big as 11. A little 5-0 run here for the Bearcats to chop it almost in half. Foul out top. A little forearm shiver there. Continuing to put uh, HPU at the free throw yeah, line here. They're over the limit. Yeah, Vaughn started out the game 0 for 2 and then got two in a row from the line. We'll see what he does here. Three in a row for Vaughn. Now with six points in the game, trying to make it seven. Yes. Forty to thirty-two. One thirty-five left. Josh Delaney will take it up the floor against Bonds. Deep, deep three. Oh man. Oh, how about that shot? That's one where as a coach you're going, no, no, no. Nice shot, Josh. <laughs> So far out, the defense didn't even come out. No. Didn't respect that. And why bother? Yes. Trying to go back door for Lasher. Got cut off nicely on the baseline by Williams. Lasher still with his dribble. Russell had the ball poked out of his hands by Cameron Delaney. And the Huskies will have just six to shoot here as we're just under a minute to play. 59.3. Ron Cottrell going to call his timeout. He is. He's going to set up a play here. And I think it's a good timeout right here, Neil. I think so, too. You have six seconds remaining on the shot clock. And very important that you get a quality look here. Get a good shot off here. Play some defense, and you will get the last shot of the half. So you're basically in a two-for-one two one. situation Correct. here. But you got to make sure you execute this final six seconds on the shot clock. Yes, you do. See the Husky and some of their supporters here at Sharp Gym. Very intimate surroundings here. You get the feeling like you're right on top of the action, because you are. <laughs> I wish we had a bodyguard here tonight. Somebody better protect the equipment. Is that your job or mine? Uh, I think it's both of ours. I see. It's a team effort. So let's see what Ron Contra will call. He's going to send out Alex Fountain, Matif Russell, Braxton Bonds, Colton Lasher, And reveal Chukujeku. Those will be the five on the floor.
Trying to go back to our lob for Chukujeku, couldn't get it to go. Delaney clears the rebound. Looks on the wing for his brother for three, not this time. And the rebound taken down by Russell. And speaking of his brother, they never played on the same high school basketball team. Had to come to HBU to play together. That's weird. That's <laughs> really weird. Down to 35 seconds as they go inside for Fountain's turnaround and got the soft roll. Alex Fountain with, one of, with his first bucket of the half. Shot clock is off. 22 seconds to shoot for Sam Houston State. They'll have the final one here. Jamal Williams will run the point way out high. Action starts with nine. Williams will try to attack. Throws it up with the left hand, no good. Lasher clears the rebound for Fountain with two, with one. He gets it off in time, but it's way off the mark, no good. Good defensive effort by Sam by Houston Baptist on that last attempt by Sam Houston. Yeah. Nice job of just stepping up, really staying out of the action, forcing him to make a tough shot. Gerald Sanchez gonna try and get a word with Ron Cottrell before he disappears for the locker room. Let's see if he can get him. And I don't think we're gonna get him. Coach left the floor. So we won't have a halftime talk with one of the coaches going off the floor, but we'll have plenty of halftime activities for you. HBU with a big burst in the final 10 minutes of the first half have opened up a seven point lead over Sam Houston State, 42-35. Stay tuned, halftime activities from Sharp Jim and Houston will follow this timeout. No, I didn't make that purchase. Someone must have my card number. So I can pick up a new debit card right now? Thank you. All right, everyone, follow me. But coach, the gym is that way. OK, OK, everyone, do some squats. Come on. This may take a while. Here's your card. Thank you. Instant issue debit cards. Security, convenience, go. together. Well, that was fast. Wells Fargo, together we'll go far. Where next, the dentist? <laughs> dunks, 10 years of three-pointers, 10 years of drives, 10 years of teamwork, 10 years of leadership, 10 years of hustle, 10 years of champions, a decade in Katy. The 2017 Southland Basketball Tournament, March 8th through the 12th at the Merrill Center. Go to Ticketmaster.com or Southland School Ticket Offices. Sharp Jim with HBU leading at the half over Sam Houston State. I'm Gerald Sanchez and joining me here, my halftime guest is Steve Mariachi, the athletic director of Houston Baptist University. It's a, a fun time to be a Husky, isn't it? It is, Gerald. It is really a fun time. It's been a fun time for about the last seven or eight years, So, but this is just continuation of it. Talk about the transformation of the athletic program uh, when you came aboard until where it is now. Well, of course, that's now been about 10 years ago. But, you know, when, the day I got here, we had five sports and it just started our sixth and seventh. And now we've got 17 sports. And, of course, when I got here, we had just gotten back or we're starting the transition into Division One. Now, of course, we're happily in the Southland Conference and uh, trying to climb the ladder in the Southland. 
and football was a huge uh, addition to this athletic program. And, and you also also had your first All-American, I understand. Yeah, we did. It was a fun season this past year. We were actually really only two missed field goals away from having a winning season. And, and so we're right about on track where we thought we would be at this point, but we did. Uh, we had our first All-American this year in Garrett Dolan. And if I'm not mistaken, I think he was like number three in the nation overall in tackles, not just for FCS, but FBS also. And then uh, signing day was a huge success here. 17 new signees going to be playing football next year here at HBU. Absolutely. And, and with the little bit of success that we had this past year in football, our signing day, of course, was, was a lot better this year. And the talent that we're bringing in, we're really excited about. It'll be interesting to see whether we can redshirt some of these guys or if they're going to be on the field immediately. Let's talk about softball and baseball. Baseball starts tomorrow. Softball's got already a couple of wins under their belt. Yeah, softball's had off to a really good start. We're really happy with where that program's going. Um, struggled a little bit last year, but came out this year, and the losses we've had have all been to teams who were in the tournament last year. So they're off to a really good start. Now, baseball opens up tomorrow against Fordham. The Fordham Rams are in town, and I'm sure they're very happy to be here. Kim coming all the way from uh, where they came from in New York, I'm sure they're happy to be outside at all at this point in the year. So we'll see how it goes tomorrow when we throw out that first pitch. Off the field, a, a tremendous tremendous number of honor roll students. 83 was the uh, number that I was uh, informed. Yes, that's correct. And I believe we had 15 who had perfect 4.0s in the spring. So, of course, one of the things that we pride ourselves on here at HBU is, in fact, our academics. And um, our kids do a really good job in the classroom as, long, as well as on the fields of play. Steve, I appreciate your time. We could talk all day, but uh, we, we, we appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Well, we appreciate you guys being here. Thank you. Steve Mariachi, Athletic Director of Houston Baptist University. And coming up next, uh, out of the break, Tom Franklin and Neil Raphael will look at the first half. Also have highlights here on Root Sports. Forty-two, thirty-five. HBU with a halftime lead over Sam Houston State here at Sharp Gym. We welcome you back in. Tom Reich with the Raphael courtside. An interesting first half, Neil. Kind of slow for the first 13 minutes. When we got to the media timeout with 7:17 left, this was a 21-17 game in favor of Sam Houston State. But a big 25-13 run to close the half by the Huskies have given them the advantage at the break. Yeah, as well as free throws. Uh, HBU with 10 of 15 from the free throw line. Sam Houston only with eight free throws. And then the turnover situation, Sam Houston with 12, 
only seven for HBU thus far. Just the opposite of the first game that they had up in Huntsville in December. Let's take a look at some of the first half highlights for you right now. Early on, going down low to the big guy, Ibarra. But a nice tip for Galbraith, who got off to a quick start, filling in for the injured Aramis Myauskas for the Sam Houston State Bearcats. And then Lasher goes from deep on the corner. Attacking the basket, Paul Baxter had a nice first half with seven to pace the Bearcats. A yeah, great ball move at that time for Sam Houston. And then a good boost off the bench as Atif Russell dishes off for the corner three. And there was Galbraith again working hard underneath. Come off the high screen there. Nails that three. Delaney. Little runner inside. And here goes Bonds to work with a steal from behind. The finish by Russell. Bonds. We'll get up there defensively and lose it that time. But here he comes leading the break down the floor. Watch this finish. Wow. The contact. Tough with the, the inside hand. Yep. And that big run in the final seven minutes when they hit 8 of 13 has given the Huskies the intermission lead at 42-35. We'll have halftime stats for you right after this timeout. No, I didn't make that purchase. Someone must have my card number. So I can pick up a new debit card right now? Thank you. All right, everyone, follow me. But coach, the gym is that way. Okay, okay, everyone, do some squats. Come on. This may take a while. Thank you. Instant issue debit cards. Security, convenience, go. together. Well, that was fast. Wells Fargo. Together we'll go far. Where next? The dentist? <laughs> <laughs> dunks, 10 years of three-pointers, 10 years of drives, 10 years of teamwork, 10 years of leadership, 10 years of hustle, 10 years of champions, a decade in Katy. The 2017 Southland Basketball Tournament, March 8th through the 12th at the Merrill Center. Go to Ticketmaster.com or Southland School Ticket Offices. Forty-two, thirty-five in favor of the set of the HBU Huskies and their coach Ron Cottrell standing by now with Gerald Sanchez. It's amazing what defense can do when it turns around, especially when you use your defense to turn into offense. Yeah, I thought our defense was really good there in the middle of the first half. Our pressure turned the ball over a little bit. We didn't finish every play that we wanted to finish at the rim, but I certainly changed the momentum by playing the defense that we did. What do you need to do in the second half to come out with the victory here tonight? Well, we've got to handle their pressure. They, they've really done a good job of taking us out of our offense. We've got to handle their pressure. We've got to play at least even with them on the boards, and then we've got to finish some plays on the offensive end. Thanks, Coach. All right, thank you. Some words from Ron Cottrell. We take a quick look at our halftime stats. You see the Huskies with a seven-point lead. Field goal percentages are about the same. Three-pointers pretty even. Rebounds even, pretty even. Points in the paint. Big comeback for HBU. They had trailed for much of the first half. That has sparked them to the seven-point lead here at the intermission. We'll get you ready for the second half from Sharp Gym, where the Huskies own a seven-point lead over the Bearcats right after we pause for this timeout.
look at some future HBU Huskies class of 2028 down the road here. Enjoying the action here at Sharp Gym, where the hometown Huskies have a seven point lead. So adjustments, what needs to happen here? What got away from Sam Houston State in that final seven minute spurt deal that, that Jason Hooten and company are gonna have to correct? Uh, they didn't take care of the basketball the way they should. Uh, really struggled there for a little bit and HBU went on that big run and really they were able to get back in it a little bit towards the end near the half, but man, they're gonna have to shoot the ball a little bit better and they're gonna have to take care of the basketball. 12 first half turnovers is, is way too much for Coach Hoot. And we heard a little bit from Ron Cottrell. Would you like to add anything to what his comments were? <laughs> no, he was pretty succinct on that. All right. But Sam also needs to get to the free throw line. Only five of eight. They've gotten there eight times, but HBU's got the line 15 times, Tom, and knocked down 10. Well, they were called for 11 fouls in the first half, eight for HBU. Sam Houston with the ball to start. Moving left to right here at Sharp Gym. Butler on the block with the right hand floater, no good. The rebound ripped out of there by Chuku Jeku. A little weave out top. Lasher for Bonds with the runner, deflected out of bounds. A nice save by Butler, hustling after that. Here goes Baxter for the finger roll. Paul Baxter with his ninth point of the game. Great job in transition by Sam, taking it right to the rim. Jason Hooten says his Bearcats feed off the steadiness that Baxter brings. Three no good by Lasher, who's been held to just four points in the ball game. Their leading score at 15 a game. Dewey needs to get on track. He was pretty quiet in the first half for the Bearcats. Oh, a stuff by Lasher on the drive by Galbraith. Lasher says, all right, if I'm not scoring, I can play defense. There's the drive to the basket. Is it an and one? We have a, one official said offensive foul. One official said blocking foul. Let's see. It's going to be a block. The block. Wow. Let's do the chagrin. Block on Baxter yes. will be his third foul. That's to the grin of Sam Houston. Hopefully we'll get another look at this. But Jason Hooten can't believe it. Yeah, that, that could have gone either way. It's down in the corner of your screen, so you didn't get a real clear look at it to see if Baxter was planted or not. Now the official's still doing a little conversation. Chance boards with our crew chief. Rod Dixon there in the free throw lane, and now Lasher to try to complete the three-point play and does. Nine and one at home for HBU. Their only loss coming to Central Arkansas early in the conference season. Meanwhile, Sam not bad on the road at five of six. Here's Butler in the circle. Flips it back out. Baxter to attack. It's going to be a foul away from the ball. It's going to be on Asa Cantwell. And that'll be his third. So it'll be a new 30 for the Bearcats. Jason Hooten still having a conversation with Rod Dixon about that last call. Open is Dakari Henderson. Left it short. Went for his own rebound. Had it poked out of his hands. And Cantwell will take it back for the Huskies. To Lasher behind the back for Bonds. Good pump fake to draw the contact and the foul. And Lasher is fired up here, here, here in the second half, Tom. What a behind the back pass. The hesitation, he got to the free throw line for two. Sorry, Butler guilty of the foul. Yeah, Bonds likes that contact. He just does. I'm sure that comes from the uh, family genes along the way. <laughs> Goes two for two for the strike, so he missed his first two, but he has hit five in a row since yeah. then. At nine points in the game, and the lead is built up to 10 now for the Huskies. They led by as many as 11 in the first half. 
Butler against Lasher. Double team to Barra, came and stole the ball. The big man. Lasher back outside for Bonds, and now Lasher. Here's Ugachuku, misses from the elbow. Quick rebound and run up the floor by Dewey. In the lane for Butler, couldn't get it to go. Loose ball off Lasher, no. Poked out of his hands by Dewey. It'll belong to HBU. Yeah, hit the trailer. Butler coming down the lane, but not able to knock it down. The heads up play. You know, he's one on three. Really didn't have a good look. Waited on his trailer. And oh, wow. That, that replay almost looked like it was Henderson who knocked the ball out of bounds for HBU. Huskies may have gotten a break there. Almost three minutes gone by in the second half. Now isolation. Abara with the running right-hander. Eight points for Josh Ibarra. You Coming off a 17-point, 12-rebound effort against UIW. You don't see the hook that often, Tom. Great skills by Ibarra. Dewey in the lane, draws contact, couldn't get it to go. Rebound, Galbraith had it knocked out of his hands. Yeah, it looked like he was tripped by an HBU player that yep. time. And that was the indication yes, from the official. Was. Looked like he barred. No shooting still, not giving it a rest. So it'll be Chris Galbraith at the free throw line to shoot two. Uh, if they're just assuming it was incidental contact and really they didn't lose possession of the basketball there, so. Lasher will check out and Alex Fountain will come in for HBU. Galbraith with a double-double against UIW in their last outing. Misses this time, however. He'll sit at seven points. Lead is 11 for the Huskies. Bonds feeds Ibarra at the high post. Cantwell got tripped. It's going to be on Henderson. Henderson picks up his first. Third team foul against Sam Houston State here in the second half. So the Huskies will put it in play to the right of the offensive glass in front court once we get the perspiration mopped up off the floor. Sam Houston overplay, and there's that back door. They leave it for Ibarra, missed it going up, but he got fouled. It's going to be Henderson with his second straight foul call. There's the overplay. There's the back door cut. Yes. And Henderson from the back side with the whistle. Come on, big man, just throw that one down, Tom. <laughs> He's got long enough arms. Yes, he doesn't he have does. to get up much. No. That'll incite the crowd, I promise you. Everybody loves when a big man goes up there and throws it down. Three for three for the stripe from Ibarra. As we've seen, he really moves well for a man his size at 6'11 and 250. And a double figures with 10. To join Russell who has 13 for the Huskies. Speaking of 13, that's the lead for HBU with almost four minutes gone by, second half. Backdoor pass, bad pass by Henderson. Steal by Fountain, ahead for Bonds. And the finish, yes, by Russell. What great ball movement by the Huskies. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised Sam Houston calls a timeout here. The Bearcats are totally off their game right now. Baxter on the high screen, attacks the big man, no good, but the finish is there for Galbraith. It just bounced off, he barred, arms were extended, yeah. he's just a big man. There was no foul there. No, good, not good at no, all. Good no call. 13 point lead. Drive, too strong for Ugachuku, but there to clean it up is Ibarra. Didn't even have to leave his feet, just extended those arms and put it back in. 11 points for Ibarra. 
On the baseline, Baxter with the dish, and Galbraith with the finish. Nice pass by Baxter. Much needed basket for Sam Houston. Five minutes going by here in the second half. Lead is 13. Bonds with a nice play on the pressure on the inbounds pass. Just flip it back to the man who put it in. Nobody's on him. Very heads up. Bar at the high post. Here's Russell spinning in the lane. Can't finish. Rebound batted out of there by Galbraith and corralled by Williams. Ahead for Dewey. On the wing is Henderson for three. No, off the mark again. Ball knocked out of bounds. Last touch they say by Sam Houston State. We might have a discussion on this. I think Rod Dixon's going to get the overrule from behind. We'll straighten it out for you. It's going to it's going to stay with Sam Houston instead. 14-20 left here, but the Huskies are barking up a tree right now. The Bearcats have been treed down by 13. Pointers, 10 years of drives, 10 years of teamwork, 10 years of leadership, 10 years of hustle, 10 years of champions, a decade in Katy. The 2017 Southland Basketball Tournament, March 8th through the 12th at the Merrill Center. Go to Ticketmaster.com or Southland School Ticket Offices. Sponsored in part by Abraham Watkins, Nichols, Sorrells, Augusto, and Friend. Randy Sorrells, a 1984 graduate of HBU and a recipient of HBU's Outstanding Alumnus of the Year Award. And by Wells Fargo. Together, we'll go far. 14.20 to go. And this HBU team is really on fire, Neil. They Boy, are they are. Going on a run here. They have outscored. Sam Houston State since the 717 mark, 38 to 21. And it's on both ends of the floor, Tom. You see Jason Oot trying to figure out what can I do, what can I say to my guys to get them back in this ball game. Inside pass poked away by the long arms of Ibarra, and he rescues the loose ball on the carom. Uh, he's being the long arm of the law defensively denied as Ibarra. Now this is Jalen Weber running the point, number two. Backdoor pass for Bonds for the finish. Boy, is this Husky team moving the basketball. They are the continuing to go backdoor on the overplay by Sam Houston, paying big dividends offensively. Bonds now with 11 points in the game. Ivy couldn't get the spin off the glass. Loose ball taken down by Weber and the Huskies. Here they come again. And part of the reason, not many second chance opportunities, Tom, here in the second half for Sam Houston. A lot of one and done, you're yes. right, Neil. Russell from three from out top. And he continues to be on fire tonight. That's 18 points in his second three. And I don't see Coach Hoot sit down very often. No. Uh, he, he won't be down long, but I'm just telling you, that doesn't happen very often. Galbraith with a drive, can't get the roll. Rebound to Bonds, and here come the Huskies, another one and done. Trying to figure out what he can do with these HBU Huskies tonight. 
Bonds is open instead, dishes off to Weber. Back to Bonds, they'll reset. 15 to shoot for the Huskies. Inside Ibarra, spins, can't get it to go, but it'll be fouled Galbraith, I believe. Uh, just the inside presence of Ibarra in the middle. They're kind of spacing out the guards and isolating Ibarra on the low block, and you can't even get around that young man. So Ibarra on the ball game with a dozen points. This is for the first time tonight from the line. Twelve oh five twelve thirty five to go. One out of two for Ibarra. He's gonna get a breather as Colton Lasher will check in for him. Or check that, that is uh, Cody Stetler. Stetler gave them some nice plays in relief of Ibarra, keeping the control of the lane, if nothing else. Here's Williams to the hoop for the finger roll and one. Well, that's just what the doctor ordered for Sam Houston. An and one opportunity, try to climb back in this one. Just as soon as I talked nice about Stetler, he got beat on the drive as he came out on Williams, a much smaller player, a much quicker player. And now Lasher's gonna come in, and Stetler will sit down right away. Jamal Williams, 57% from the line, two for two in the first half. I'm expecting some full court pressure here for Sam Houston, Tom. They've got to shake it up a little bit. Williams completes the three-point play. Let's see. Oh, they're going to go one, two, two, three-quarter court. Yes. Lob pass taken away by Dewey. Dewey will take it in himself and lay it home. Dewey with his second basket has five points. Lead back to 14 now. This time the zone trap doesn't bother them. Interior pass deflected by Dewey. He's got it on the run again, up off the glass for two more. Yeah, 4-0 run for the Bearcats. All, all by John Dewey the third. Yes. Trap at midcourt, they get it out to Chukujeku. Lead is down to 12 with 11.40 left. You want to get the single digits by the 10 minute mark if you're Sam Houston State. Chuku Jeku can't get the roll and the rebound to Williams. And here comes Sam Houston again, and suddenly they've got a little life in their step. Here's Spivey. Nice stop move to get Lasher to go by, and Ron Cottrell will call a timeout. And Spivey gets his first points of the night. 11 minutes and nine seconds to go. And Sam Houston has come from 18 down to 10 with an 8-0 run. Here with 11.09 to play. John Spivey, John Dewey rather, the third, sparking with some defensive plays like that right there.
Fans, we want to tell you about the Katie Kids Dribble presented by Dick Sporting Goods. You'll have fun-filled morning of entertainment, of hoops excitement, entertainment, bounce houses, cheerleaders, and mascots, free basketballs, and T-shirts for the first 300 participants. You can sign up by going to southland.org slash kids dribble. And Saturday morning, March the 11th at the Merrill Center in Katy, site of the Southland Conference Basketball Tournament. Again, that three-quarter court pressure trying to force a turnover and almost got one on the sideline. And now we have our officials timeout at the 11-minute mark. No change in the score, 10-point lead for the Huskies. But right now, Sam Houston on an 8-0 run to try and cut down a large deficit here on the road in the Southland Conference. Members of the Neil Raphael fan club here tonight <laughs> at Sharp Gym. Yeah. We got there. Tony, Tony DiCamillo played here at HBU 1991 to 95, and I had the pleasure of coaching him in high school at, at Marion Christian eons ago, Tom. All right. Great kid. So He's not a kid anymore. He's not anymore. 35 years old. No, he's My still goodness. a kid. I'm so old now. Yes, you are. <laughs> Poking a steal by Baxter. Got it away from Bonds. Spinning in the lane, but Bonds rescued it back. Throwed it inbounds, but Spivey is there to clean up the loose ball. And this is now an 11-0 run for and Sam Houston State. I think HBU is going to need another guard in there, Tom. They have some bigs in there, but boy, they're going to have to take care of that ball. Ten and a half to play. And it's not a real aggressive press, Tom. It Kind of deceiving. Lasher back door for Russell for the finish. Much needed basket for HBU. 20 now for a Atif Russell. Lead was what, 18? Well, it's 19. Then, then down to eight, now back to 10. Ball slapped away, but rescued by Dewey. Baxter pump fake, looking to attack. Outside it goes. Three ball, nothing but net for Albert Amanza, his second three of the ball game. And we're down to a seven-point game. They trap Bonds at midcourt, gets it to Lasher, and now Chukujeku. Fountain for three, no good. And they say it, it hit the shot clock up at top. So that's the reason play was stopped on that high rebound. It hit the bottom of the shot clock. Well, that might not have been the shot that Coach Cottrell wanted there. Yeah, you just tell by his body language, I think you're right. Yeah. <laughs> Arms well, they, crossed, they finally got the ball seat. in the middle, broke the pressure. but. Spivey tried to drive, had the ball poked away from inside, rolled off the shoulder of Alex Fountain. And since Ibarra has been on the bench, they've kind of changed what they're doing offensively. They were going inside yes. and isolating. Now they're forcing shots from the outside that think they can get better looks. Spivey kicks it outside, it goes around. Can he do two in a row? Yes! Almanza with back-to-back -back threes. And suddenly the Bearcat fans are on their feet as the lead is going down to four yeah, with 9.20 to go. HBU rotating a little slower on the offside. Got to lock down those shooters. They're hot. 
Right now, Almanza's got the touch. Got a key on him, and there he is, guarding out top. Shot clock is at six. Get pretty physical. And it's going to be a foul on the floor. Foul's going to be on Spivey, his third. Let's take a look here. Yeah, those two young men have been battling. You see Spivey got the arm underneath. And here comes Ibarra back in, just as you said. They changed the way they're playing. They're going to put that guy back out on the floor here. And he's not in foul trouble. Only no. he has two, so he's we'll got see. some minutes we'll see in here. We'll see if they put him back on the low block. See if they can spread it a little bit and work that. There he is. Bonds will shoot three. Too long. Rebound. Spivey, will he keep it? So they're going to call force out here with a push on Fountain. Is it going to be out of bounds and belong to HBO? I, I don't yes. Think, I don't think, yeah, they're not going to call the foul per se. Yeah. Going on here. Jason Hooten wants to say, how is that not forcing my man out of bounds? Well, he had established his position on the floor before leaning out and stepping out of bounds because of contact. Right. And he's not happy with the officiating to begin with. Let's look, no. take a look again here. He's inbounds. Got the body contact yes. that forced him out. Here's Lasher for three. Big free ball for the Huskies from Coulter Lasher. He now has 10 with his second three of the ball game. Lead back out to seven. Back iron no good for Baxter. Lasher gets the rebound. Back to one and done for Sam Houston State. Bonds hounded by Jamal Williams. Now Bonds been kind of quiet here in the second half, but he's had a lot of pressure on him. Here's Ibarra for Fountain on the baseline. The 10-footer is good. Tough shot, Alex Fountain for his second bucket. Uh, that's as tough as it gets. Here's Spivey on the attack, and we're getting a foul. Coming over was Fountain for a clean block, but they're going to call body on Lasher. It'll be free throws for Javante Spivey. Yeah, that was a brave move, Tom. That was one on four that time in transition. <laughs> and if you get the foul, everything's good. If you don't, not so good. But clean block, but Lasher was on the move. Never established defensive position. Spivey saw that the man was not back and get, able to get set and took advantage. Spivey with his first free throw. Had 12 points in just 19 minutes against UIW on Saturday. Has five in the bowl game, looking for six here. Got it. Back to seven are the Bearcats. Break the pressure nicely. It's kind of a 2-3 matchup zone here. Yeah, it's easier to go from a zone press right into a half-court zone defense, Tom. Tougher to switch to man-to-man. -to -man. And we get a foul called on Almanza. Trying to establish position against the bigger Ibarra on the entry pass. That'll bring us to a timeout. 7.40 to go. And what was one time a 19-point lead for HBU has been cut to seven by Sam Houston State. No, I didn't make that purchase. Someone must have my card number. So I can pick up a new debit card right now? Thank you. All right, everyone, follow me. But coach, the gym is that way. Okay, okay, everyone, do some squats. Come on. This may take a while. Here's your card. Thank you. Instant issue debit cards. Security, convenient, Go. together. Well, that was fast. Wells Fargo, together we'll go far. Where next, the dentist? <laughs> <laughs>
12.35 to play. HBU owned a 61 to 42 lead over Sam Houston State. In the last four minutes and 55 seconds, Sam Houston State has come alive offensively on a 19 to seven run to make this a 68 to 61 ball game. So we have Josh Ybarra at the free throw line to shoot one and one. Five out of six from the stripe, the big man from Angleton. Make it six to seven. And he's only 59% from the line on the season, so having a good night from the line. Well, it looks like he's been in the gym because he looks very relaxed and comfortable with his shot. Not pressing at all, nice fluid motion. More times than not, he's not even drawing iron on his free throws, although he got a little iron on now, that. Now, full court pressure from HBU. On the wing, Spivey in and out for three, and the rebound comes down to Fountain Boy. That would have been a big basket for the Bearcats. It would have been, and that's one way to try to get Sam Houston out of their rhythm, speed them up. They've been working and getting good three-point looks. If our left-handed hook is no good, Uguchuku lost control of the rebound. Make that Chuku Jeku. There's the Ugu Chukus that, we, that I've had <laughs> earlier this year. <laughs> well, this is Chuku Jeku. Watch the rebound here, goes in for it, and just could not corral. Spivey attacks Wild with the runner, but he got fouled. It's going to be on Ibarra, it'll be his third. Barra now with three fouls to go with his 14 points. Four players for HBU in double figures here as they have this nine point lead at 70 to 61. They've spread it out nicely. Spivey with a miss from the line. Meanwhile, Sam Houston with a balance attack as well. Their leader is Galbraith with 11. He's the only one in double figures. Yesterday probably wasn't sure if he was going to start this contest. Usually comes off the bench. Normally plays the two or the three spot. But pressed into service in the post with the absence of Aramis Myauskas tonight due to a hamstring injury. Now HBU slowing things down a little bit with an eight point lead and 6.45 left. Shot clock is at six. Lasher will launch a three. Yeah, different look that time. Sam Houston was in a 1-3-1 half-court defense. Again, Spivey slashes back out to Dewey. And over to Delaney, his three is no good. Rebound, knocked away from Lasher. Spivey's got it, couldn't get the and one. But he'll be back at the free throw line, might be four on Ibarra. Yeah, heads up play that time by Spivey, getting the defense off their feet and getting to the line for two. And drawing the fourth foul from Josh Ibarra. That'll force Ron Cottrell into a move. You saw him get off his feet a little bit there on the pump fake by Spivey. And Spivey misses. And that's the second free throw in the last 30 seconds that Sam's missed. They need every one of those, especially when you're trying to climb back in this, Tom. Now just 10 of 16 from the strike. Well, and then this one's more important because they press. <laughs> One out of two, eight points now for Spivey. Josh Delaney will come in, Spivey will have a seat. Ibarra stays on the floor with those four fouls for HBU. Three quarter court, One, two, two press again. Lasher and Bonds play pitch catch in the backcourt. Lasher will take it across. Heading towards six minutes to play in this one. Bonds for Fountain, his three is good! Before Delaney could rotate over in time. Fountain with a big three for the left wing. 13 point lead. The floater by Baxter rolls off, no good. Fountain had the rebound, lost it, but it's picked up by Lasher. Here come the Huskies. 
Fountain steps in from 17, too strong. Ibarra clears the rebound. New life for the Huskies. They'll pull it back smartly. Smart play. Huge offensive board, kicked it back out. Went inside for Chukujeku and he lost it. Here's Watts, flips it back out. Baxter, three is short. Long rebound to Chukujeku. Ahead for Bonds. Didn't have the break, pull it back outside. Lasher for a deep three. Too strong. Rebound Josh Delaney, ahead for Dewey. Around Lasher for two. Good body control by John Dewey, the third. 11 point games, 4.50 to go. Press that time, not much of a factor for Sam Houston State. As the Huskies got by easily. Bonds with a drive and one, they say. Love, love to see that again, Tom. Just a change of speed. Just a very heads up play that time by Bonds. Look at that. Change of speed and Stop. change of direction. Then again. Oh, man. What a smart basketball player Bonds is. Tremendous move to the hoop. Bonds now with 14. We'll get a team timeout here with four minutes, 39 seconds to go. HBU, which saw their lead go down to as low as five, has put it back out to 13. Here with 439 left. Times are getting desperate here. Let's go into the Sam Houston State huddle. You're Jason Hoot. What are you telling your guys here? Man, we got to get some stops. We need two or three stops in a row, and then we need to knock down some shots here. Um, it's tough right now, I'm telling you. They got cold. They started turning the ball over, and you really got to step it up on the defensive end, get some stops, and create offense with it. You know if, you're, if you're HBU, you continue to do what you're doing. You break the press, number one, you get out and you run that 30 second shot clock down as low as you could possibly go. You know, one of our key players in the game was Dakari Henderson, the senior guard for Sam Houston State. He has picked a bad time to go into a shooting funk. He's coming off a two of nine performance against UIW where he only had four points. Tonight, he is one of eight with Myauskas out there. They needed his offense. He's had opportunities. The shot just yes. got going for him tonight. So we have 4.39 to go. It'll be Braxton Bonds at the free throw line. Try and complete the old fashioned three point play. He has 14 on the night, as does Ibarra. 13 for Lasher, 20 for Russell off the bench. And a very balanced attack for this HBU Husky team. Misses the free throw, however. Broke a string of six in a row for the stripe in the game. One other thing, Sam Houston needs to make every possible free throw, Tom. Almanza misses for the first time from three to one and done. The ball right back in the Huskies' hands here. As we approach 420 left. Russell almost a steal by Dewey. Oh, Chuku Jeku lost the ball going up. Baxter on a three on two. Dewey to finish for an and one for John Dewey, and the foul is on Russell. Great Dewey job. has come alive here in the yes, second he half. he has. Great transition that time by Sam Houston. Really need every free throw they get. Yeah, they can get it back down to 10 here with 4-10 left with the free throw. Dewey now in double figures with 11. Stays at 11, missed free throw, and that's going to come back to haunt. It will. Sam Houston State, not only are they not getting as many free throw opportunities, they're not making no, they're not. as many as HBU is. And when they make them, they're able to get into their three-quarter court press. Here's Fountain with 3.50 left. Gave it up to Bonds on the sideline. Shot clock at 7. Bonds still on the dribble. Launches from throw. Man! Are you kidding me? The shot clock ticking down. How did he do that, oh Neil? My. The presence of mind to know where he was and shoot. We get a foul on the drive on Baxter. He'll have free throws when we come back, but what a three-pointer by Braxton Bonds. 
to put the lead out to 14 points for the HBU Huskies. 81-67, three and a half left here at Sharp Gym. Southland Conference Basketball Tournament comes to the Merrill Center in Katy, Texas, March 8th through the 12th. Tickets available right now by going online to Ticketmaster.com or contacting your Southland School ticket offices. Paul Baxter with a one and one coming up for Sam Houston State. Bearcats are 11 of 18 from the line, just 61%. Baxter with a make here. Gets into double figures with his 10th point. That's his first make in three tries from the strike. Baxter out of Austin Bowie High School. Goes one out of two and Lasher will clear the rebound. And the free throw woes continue for the Bearcats. Steal in the backcourt. Going to be a foul on Lasher on the reach. It might be a good foul the to send foul. Sam Houston to the line as opposed yes. to give an open basket exactly. for Dewey. Exactly, where they've really struggled here sure. in the second half. So a heads up play. You know, in the second half, there are 7 of 11 for the free throw line after going 5 of 8 in the first half. Now Dewey. Makes the first and he'll have the bonus. He's got a dozen points now. Dewey just two of four from the line. And Asa Cantwell will come in. And Atif Russell will have a seat. Dewey goes two for two from the line. Much needed free throws for the Bearcats. They can set up the zone trap. 3.23 left. HBU inbounds. Bonds comes to rescue it in the backcourt. Stutter dribble against Dewey with the quick hands. Almost a double dribble there. Sam Houston State bench was up off their feet. Every one member of the coaching staff. Bonds on the attack, lost it. Ibarra rescues back outside Cantwell with the clock going down, misses the three, but Bonds has got the rebound. It's gonna be a foul on Dewey for holding him right there when he got the rebound. Dewey will get his third, be the ninth team foul. That was a big offensive rebound that time by Bonds. Right place, right time. Yes. You know, when a guy gets a couple of caroms like that, you might say it's just one of those things. But every loose ball finds practice. <laughs> Braxton Bonds, it seems. And he will miss the front end of the one and one. One of the few things he's done wrong tonight. 2.50 left. 11 point lead. Deep three. 
by Delaney is no good. The one and done as Lasher gets the rebound. And we'll see if HBU takes a little air out of the ball. They should. They should slow it down here with 2.35 left. They got plenty of points. And the 10th team foul could come soon. Yeah, so it's tough to try to go to foul yes. mode because you're giving them two all the time. Yes, you are. Chuku Jaku with his first field goal of the night will get an and one. Impeccable timing. And what a great look by Ibarra down low to find him cutting for the backside. Nice job of sharing the basketball by Ibarra. Reveal Chuku Jaku averages a dozen on the season. Had 15 against Lamar. Only has three tonight, but those three come at a key time in the ball game. 84-70, 221 left. What do we got here? Something, Something going I, on with the I, clock. I think the game clock started because Dewey was letting yes. the ball roll, and the game clock started Early. before he touched it. So after reset, so a good catch by the officiating crew. Well, this time they'll put it in and Dewey will have to take it because HBU came back on him right away. Delaney again, Josh Delaney this time for three. Timeout, Jason Hooten and Sam Houston State. Josh Delaney with his second three ball of the game. The bench was a key component in their victory on Saturday over UIW, 72-63. Bench players came up with key points. So far tonight, the bench has made contributions, but not an outstanding level like they had no. in that UIW game. But looking here at my score sheet, they've got 26 points. No, take that 35 points with Almonte, it's nine off the bench. So they've had a good contribution off the bench tonight. One more look at the standings here. Houston Baptist trying to get to eight and six on the season where they would sit just behind AM Corpus Christi for that number four spot. And Lamar might try and stay with him, depending on what the Cardinals do in tonight's ball game elsewhere in Southland Conference action. We've got 2-12 left here and a 10-point lead for HBU. Now it gets a little tricky for Sam if you're not able to get a steal. Yep, because you know, if you foul, you're yes, giving him two free throws. You are, and I'm sure the Sam Houston coaches are looking at the free throw percentages of the HBU men out there, and we'll see what happens here. Well, they're going to try and get a 10 count. Yeah. They can. The and there's a steal by Dewey. Got it away from Cantwell, but can't finish with the left hand. Bonds takes it away and quickly into front court. Now you've got numbers for the Huskies. Oh, that was a big play there. That was huge. Bonds and Lasher play on the far sideline. Shot clock is at 13. Lasher, the calm, cool, collected four-year senior. Turnaround 10-footer won't go. But Chuku Jaku's got the rebound. New life again for the Huskies. Bonds drives ball slapped away from behind by Delaney. Very fortunate, I think, HBU to get the ball back. And Might have rolled off yeah. Cameron Delaney after it was poked from behind by Dewey. Normally, HBU wouldn't, Watch again. wouldn't attack it, but he had an open lane to the basket that time. He couldn't pass it up. Yeah, I think it just kind of went off the upper yes. body of Cameron Delaney. It got poked free. Inbounds for Braxton Bonds, who muscles it up for two more. He now has 19 in the game. Having a well of a game. 12 here in the second half. Where Russell was the big guy for the Huskies in the first half, Bonds has been the big guy in the second half. Yeah, he's answered the bell and been very good from the free throw line as well. Had a rough start, really connecting. John Dewey the third with 13 points. 
to lead the Bearcats back at the line here. Clock stop with 117 left. They got to have both of these free throws and a lot more. Too strong on the first one. Alex Fountain will come in. Yeah, it's really been their Achilles heel here, especially in the second half. They missed a lot of free throws. Tui one more time. It's one for two for the strike. Substitution will be Jamal Williams. Going to try it. Going to play that lead point on this 1 2 2 trap. They lob it near half court for Lasher. Back this way for Bonds. Almost came in our lap. I'm glad he's big at 6 foot 2 <laughs> and got up there with some ups to get that. Fountain back to Lasher. Husky's just going to try and run clock. It's going to be a foul on Almanza. And they worked it down to 12 that time before drawing the foul. Lasher with 13 points in the ball game, including nine here in the second half. Known for getting the others involved, one of four four-year players on this roster. That Ron Cottrell has really leaned on this season to get him out of that funk where they lost five of six games and now on the verge of making it four wins in a row. Uh -huh. If it holds true, a sweep of Sam Houston, a very, very good basketball team, but wow, it's HBU stepped up and answered the call tonight. They play well at home, looking to go 10 and one at Sharp Gymnasium. Inside Spivey lost it going up and out of bounds. Last touch by Spivey belongs to the Huskies with 52 seconds to go. And I think you can just about seal this victory now. Cantwell will come in. And Russell will sit down. Now I think despite the fact that you, you're in the double bonus, I think you have to foul now if you don't get a steal right away. You really have no chance. Bonds against Williams. Gets it up for Lasher. Clock down to 40 seconds left. Cadwell fakes the three, brings it back outside. Stolen by Cameron Delaney. Two on two. Delaney can't finish. Spivey's got the rebound. And one fouled from behind by Fountain. Uh, I think you just put your hands up and force him to make that shot. You, you don't give him any extra there. Spivey gets into double figures with 10 as Fountain picks up his second foul. The lead is 12 points with 27.3 to go. And a three-point play for Spivey. Shot clock is off. Bonds double team gets away in the backcourt. Lobs it all the way down, deflected out of bounds by Cameron Delaney. It'll stay with the Huskies with 16.8 to go. A heads up play by Lasher, just letting the ball go instead of grabbing that one that time. Fountain lobs the inbounds into the backcourt. Chukujeku runs it down. Double team comes. He'll get it in the front court. Bonds is just running away from the basket. We're under 10 seconds now. And the Huskies are going to win their fourth in a row. Sweep the season series with Sam Houston State, the preseason favorite in Southland Conference play, and win it tonight by a score of 88 to 77. And what a balanced attack for this Husky team. Yeah, it was a great team effort on both ends of the floor. And played really two solid halves. Opened up a huge lead in the first half, and then Sam makes a run, but wow, did they ever fend them off and played great basketball tonight. Got off to a slow start in the first 13 minutes of the game, only had 17 points. In the final 30, 27 minutes, they scored 71. <laughs> How about that? They had 17 points with 7.17 left in the half, and they finished with 88. My goodness. What an offensive exhibition. Well, how is that picking your game up in gear? Let's see if Gerald Sanchez can get a word with our player of the game. 
That's going to be Braxton Bonds, who finished with 19 for the Huskies, including a dozen here in the second half. And Gerald, take it away, sir. Our player of the game is sophomore Braxton Bonds, and a big part of this win, you were tied with the game high 18 points, and you really you led the second half, uh, doing just about everything on the on the court. Yes, sir. I just tried to be aggressive. Uh, I wasn't very happy with the first half of my performance, but my teammates picked me up, and so I just tried to come out in the second half and really be aggressive. Sam has been a really good team over the years, especially in this conference. But four out of the last five victories now for HBU against Sam. Oh yeah, they're they're a tough team. They can't they play defense. They're they're really tough. I think that we've just executed our game plan against them and really done what coaches asked us to do. And I think that's why we've been victorious. Talk about the season now going forward in conference play. Uh, I think this win gives us a lot of confidence. Uh, we've kind of been struggling, but at past these past four games, we've really stepped it up. And a win like tonight is really going to help give us confidence to push us forward. Congratulations on the win. Yeah, I appreciate you, sir. Thank you. All right, Gerald, thanks very much. Braxton Bonds, 18 points officially. Leading scorer with Atif Russell. 15 apiece for Josh Ibarra and Colton Lasher as a balance attack for this Husky team. Ups them to eight and six in Southland Conference playing. Keeps them on the doorstep, knocking for that number four berth in a first round bye in the upcoming Southland Conference tournament. Well, that's going to wrap it up here from Sharp Gym in Houston, where HBU wins their fourth in a row, 88-77 over Sam Houston State. So for Gerald Sanchez and Neil Raphael and our entire crew, this is Tom Franklin saying good night from Sharp Gym in Houston. <laughs>